Coming towards the tape now, but there's a few quite a way behind. They go forward, and they're off. For the 2011 John Smith's Grand National, that's rhythm and surface to air have jumped off a little bit behind the others. Golden Kite is prominent towards the outer. Uh, state of play on the inner is up with the leaders with Vic Venturi and Killy Glenn. Because I couldn't see an Ornoir de Somoza are handy with Hello Bud. Uh, the Midnight Club in a pink jacket is tracking the leaders as they make their way down towards the first midfield for Skippers. Brig Quali Base tucked away on the inside with character building as they rise at the first. And Hello Bud was the leader over the first. All the leaders took the first safely there's one down at the back of the field that was that's rhythm has gone at the first that's rhythm is down going towards fence number two and it's hello bud it will just lead with Briggs towards the outside there's one gone in the center vic venturi has been brought down because i couldn't see was the faller brought down vic venturi hello bud and Briggs are the leaders with santa's son racing in third as they take the open ditch a mistake by santa's son all the leaders again are safely over at the back of the field very slow over that was king fontaine but only three have gone so far as they go on towards the fourth and it's Briggs who just about has the with Santa's son towards his outside. The leaders again are all safely over that fence. But meanwhile, in the midfield, we do have a faller. Calgary Bay has gone. Ornay is also down as they go now towards fence number five. Majestic Concord is uh, well prominent towards the outside as well with Baller Briggs as they take number five. Hello, Bud, just behind the leaders as they prepare to take beaches for the first time. They have heard all two uh, take that safely. So Majestic Concord racing on the outside. Santa's son is well prominent. Quinns is also front rank with Baller Briggs as they make their way towards uh, beaches for the first time. Santa's son lands just about on all fours. The leaders are all over safely, but we've lost to Noir de Somoza in uh, midfield. Also uh, down is the t'other one. Dooney's Gate may also be a faller, and West End Rocker has also gone at Beaches. Over Foynhaven, the lead with Santa's son. They're all over Foynhaven safely. King Fontaine is well back. Character building is last of those that are still standing as they head now towards the canal turn. Killy Glenn and Santa's son are first over it from Hello Bud as they take the canal turn turn the two leaders ahead of majestic concord who makes a mistake uh, back through the field a couple awkward on turning are Pirea as they now turn towards valentine's and cut by time also made a mistake as they went over the canal turn they take valentine's brook and all the leaders are safely over still at the back of the field the likes of king fontaine and also the gray character building as they go towards the next and it's majestic concord towards the outside with santa's son the first two killy glenn followed then by Baller briggs and niche market the leaders are all safely over hello but then towards the inside title bay has gone on the outside at the rear of the field, Tidal Bay is down. They go now towards the open ditch, fence number 11, and it was Majestic Concord who had the lead over Santa Sun who took it in second. Baller Briggs was over in third. Niche Market was over in fourth. Quali Bay has gone on the inside. The grey Quali Bay is down. Going now towards the next fence number 12, and it's Santa Sun put in a mighty leap towards the outside of Majestic Concord as they stream over that, and a very bad mistake by Golden Kite. Great recovery by Shane Hazard as they make the run now over the Melling Road, and it's Majestic Concord and Santa Sun with Baller Briggs towards the inside race racing in third. Niche Market on the outside is in fourth. Killy Glen is racing in fifth. Surface to Air is in sixth. On the inside, Hello Bud is in seventh. Oscar Time is in eighth, followed in ninth position by the Midnight Club. And then last year's winner, Don't Push It, who's then being followed by on the outside, or rather on the inside, the white blaze of Grand Slam Hero as they make the turn on towards the next. So Majestic Concord and Santa's Sun Disputers as they make their way around towards the 13th with Niche Market with the hoops on the sleeves. Banner Briggs with the nose band, the white cap is tracking them and then Killy Glen with surface to air. The Midnight Club, Ruby Walsh in the very pale pink silks is not far off the pace as Santa's Sun leads out over that one. The leaders are over safely. Grand Slam Hero back in the midfield was a faller, however. We lost Grand Slam Hero there. Character Building and King Fontaine are well back with Perea. Quinns is also towards the rear as Santa's Sun leads out over the 14th from Majestic Concord, then Baller Briggs and Niche Market, Killy Glen, surface to air. In behind these, Oscar Time with the nose band and then the Midnight Club and don't push it and comply or die as they get themselves organised for the chair. Santa's son from Majestic Concord as they rise. Baller Briggs joins in alongside them. The leaders stream out over the chair, character building, one of the last to get over it. Quinns was pulled up before the chair, but everything else jumped it. They go to the water. It's Baller Briggs who leads the national field from Majestic Concord. Santa's Sun is in third, Niche Market is in fourth, Surface to Air is in fifth, then Oscar Time, Killy Glenn in the Midnight Club from Don't Push It, uh, then Comply or Die and Skippers, Brig and Water Friend and Hello Bud who cuts the corner from In Compliance, behind me Silver by Nature and then Big Fella Thanks who's followed by Blue Sea Cracker, Can't Buy Time, Arbor Supreme, uh, in behind these working back through the field to Royal Rose who's still going out the back with Golden Kite and Character Building, uh, still towards the rear of the field, King Fontaine and Pereira as they head across the 
Melling Road. 27 of them still standing as they set out on their final circuit in the John Smith's Grand National and head down now towards fence number 17. And as they go towards it, it is Ballard Briggs who leads the way to Santa Sun towards the outside over in second and over in third, Majestic Concord and then Killy Glen. The leaders are all safely over that as they go on now towards fence number 18 before the open ditch. And it's Jason Maguire and Ballard Briggs who's out in front to Santa Sun who will take it in second place. And then Killy Glen followed by Majestic uh, Concord and then Niche Market. They now go towards the open ditch and at the back of the field, Cart by Time is unseated at that fence. Cart by Time is out. Going now towards the open ditch, Ballard Briggs led Killy Glen over in second. A mistake by Santa's son. All the leaders are safely over and now history is being made in the Grand National as for the first time a fence is going to be omitted. They do not take fence number 20 going round the outside. So out in front it is Majestic Concord taken on by Killy Glen as they make the run now on towards the next and they will also be admitting Beecher's Brook. They will indeed. So Ballard Briggs is leading the field towards the next from uh, Killy Glen as they head towards the one that it normally before Beecher's which they will be bypassing. Uh, mistake in uh, midfield. Royal Rosa also made a mistake. Chief Jan George is pretty well back at this stage. So then they're going to bypass Beecher's Brook. They're being waved around it and Ballard Briggs it is who leads the national field from Killy Glen and Niche Market. Oscar Time in fourth place from Santa's Sun. The Midnight Club travelling very powerfully at this stage with surface to air then Majestic Concord as they make their way down down to Foynaven. Uh, what a friend is just behind the leaders in about eighth or ninth place with also in compliance travelling well. Ballersbrig leads them over Foynaven. A comply or die is quite well back amongst the stragglers. King Fontaine character building backstage is still going has about three or four behind with Perea. So they're heading towards the canal turn. It's Ballersbrig who leads Niche Market and Killy Glen as they prepare to take the canal turn. Santa's son takes it in fourth place. Surface to air the Midnight Club. Majestic Concord unseats the rider at the canal which uh, Chief Dan George and Character building it towards the back. Ballad Briggs, a bad mistake at Ballantyne's. But he did survive. Ballad Briggs is still there and he's still just about got the lead, but he's taken on by Niche Market towards his outside. Pereira is totally tailed off at the back of the field. He's last of those who still remain. Going over the next, Ballad Briggs, Niche Market, a bad mistake by Killy Glenn, whose rider went to the buckle end. AP McGoy just begins to ride along. Don't push it for the first time. He's currently in sixth place towards the outside. Ahead of him, Oscar Time is staying on for Sam Whaley Cohen as they go over the next. And down was Killy Glenn. Badly hampered there was uh, at the back of the field the midnight club but a good recovery as they go on now towards the next and on the outside niche market on the inside ballot Briggs. santa sun has been pulled up oscar time was over in third a mistake there a significant error by don't push it it was very low over that fence state of play made a mistake but he was beaten at the time down arbor supreme at the back of the field as they go over the melling road in the national and it is ballot Briggs and jason mcguire out in front to niche market racing in second on the inside oscar time is in third and then big fella thanks and then last year's winner don't push it now being pushed along by ap mccoy as they make the turn with two to jump in the national. A niche market on the outside is being pushed along alongside the nose bounded Bala Briggs, but Sam Whaley Cohen is poised in behind on Oscar Time in the orange sleeve jacket. AP niggling away on Don't Push It. Big fella thanks for the checks on the sleeves. Then a break back to surface to air. They make the long run towards the second last. And it's Bala Briggs who will lead at the second from home. Oscar Time on the inside. Niche market. Big fella thanks produced in the centre. And then Don't Push It. There's one left to jump in the national it's Bala Briggs for Donald McCain and Jason Maguire chased by Oscar time and big fella thanks Bala Briggs is over the last two lengths clear Oscar time and big fella thanks chase him towards the elbow niche market is back in fourth don't push it is fifth and one pace in front Bala Briggs but Oscar time is ranging up to have a go at him they head towards the elbow with still over a full to go in the national Oscar time and Sam Whaley Cohen get to the quarters of Bala Briggs and Jason Maguire Bala Briggs finds a bit more He's game and he's all heart. Bala Briggs, Oscar Time got to him, but he can't get past. Bala Briggs, driven out by Jason Maguire. Donald McQueen follows in his father's footsteps. And Donald McQueen trains his first John Smith Grand National winner, Jason Maguire. And Bala Briggs win the national for Trevor Hemmings. Oscar Time is second, don't push it, he's third. Staying on in behind, then stay to play fourth. Placed again, niche market was fifth. Then the Midnight Club, surface to air. Big fella thanks, weekend skippers Brig. Backstage was next over the line and then King Fontaine silver by nature working back to in compliance blue sea cracker character building golden kite they're still coming up the run in uh, chief Dan George is walking up towards the line Royal Rosa comply or die